Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana, friend. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Sandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my choice to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Sorry. Join it as much as that bad tub gin or that bayou shine. The real question then is who's getting incarcerated for it. And that's what we're really talking about, ain't it? I hear the amens echoing through the hollow right now. Show, show. <laughs> but I'm gonna answer that question with another book from the good Mr. Anslinger. The primary reason the outlaw marijuana is its effect on the degenerate. Remember when we spoke about those don't believe colored folk are even human? How do you change those lives? How do you combat that level of ignorance by anything? By anything short of a bullet? I wish I didn't have to say things like that. Wish it doesn't change a thing. Wishing it's for cheering. For anything. Many of those left around here. They all know.
God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. Ah, hey there, Frey. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our drops. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. You getting in touch with your artistic side? My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was... perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the Tonton Makut bludgeoning my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Frey, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye I get the quicker that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. <laughs>